everybody, it's Tony. Um, hold up. Sorry, I gotta listen to my Christmas music. Um, so, this is for Mark. Yay, Mark. Um, I'm gonna be talking about SMO, social media optimization. Um, in a nutshell, SMO, you know what SEO is. Search engine optimization, you know, making sure that a search engine such as Google, you know, um, a certain website or blog or anything interactive um, is found, you know, on that engine, on that search engine, you know, at the top of the list. And just to, just to hit with SMO, which is social media optimization, which is a method of social media activity with the intent of attracting unique visitors to the website content. So um, when I say unique visitors, anybody who is hopefully of that target or anybody who's interested in that product um, these days you have social media features added to different content, different blogs and stuff. Um, you have RSS feeds, you know, feeds where people, um, see live, you know, news and information about that content. Um, social news, sharing buttons, and a big thing that has been like, whoosh, is the like button, you know. So, we've all seen the Facebook like button on everything. I've probably seen it on a cereal box. That's how many times I see the like button. Um, even in, you know, shopping malls and everything, you know, go on Facebook, like our thing, you know, so, um, search social media optimization. It's not only interactive on the internet platform. It's also interactive when it comes to, you know, the real world. All this, yeah, it comes to that. Um, but yeah, S, I'm sorry, my train of thoughts beyond. SMO was founded, I won't say founded, but the term search, social media optimization, I keep wanting to say SEO, um, was founded by Rohit Bhagava. He's, I think he's from India, and he is um, a blogger. He writes for the inter influential marketing blog and teaches marketing in Georgetown um, University. And... The guy who actually found it, like, his information was Danny Sullivan. And Danny Sullivan is the editor-in-chief of Search Engine Land, a blog that covers news and information about search engines. So, who would have thought? Oh. Um, so, let me see. But then you also have this, um, these spawns of, why I say spawns? These groups of, um web solution people such as if you go to ironmonk.net I found it um, it's actually an advertising agency per se interactive per se um, who um, works on creating these mashups of um, these websites these interactive websites that are web 2.0 compatible and that have mashups of different you know social medias um, such as Facebook Twitter you know, the internet, the um, WordPress, you know, things of that nature. So, but if I can find it, Danny Sullivan, who is the editor-in-chief of Search Engine Land, and you should go look at his stuff, um, found out about Rohit Bakhgava. Um Bakhgava had five rules for conducting social media optimization and they are increasing your likability. So, um, that's a reason that you should use social engine. Social media optimization is to increase your likability. Um, especially in these times of the day. Um, the internet is what's in, I guess, if you want to say. Um, everybody uses it. You can use it on your mobile phone. So, therefore, it's becoming, um, a broader and greater medium of, um, transferring data and knowledge. Uh, make tagging and bookmarking easy, of course. Um, rebound inbound links. So links that link to different links and stuff, they also get hits. Um, help you. Oh, for the re reward inbound links, um, I guess you could say banner ads had something to play with that also. When it comes to, I'm going to say back in the day, because that was like, what, five, six years ago. Um, but banner ads are big and stuff, and that helped also with um, inbound links and everything. 
and then helping your content travel, you know, it's not just word of mouth, you know, it's actually on the internet, you know, we go on Facebook and see something about, oh, somebody did this, 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 you know, I'm actually going to read that because I go on Facebook like 20 times a day, so who doesn't? I'm encouraging the mashup, um, encouraging the mashup, this big mashup of interactive information, data, content, whatever you want to call it, um, all together in one place, and we've actually talked about that, you know, um, having maybe blogs that are just <sighs> Twitter, Facebook, Skype compatible, you know, all in one. That'd be crazy, but it might happen one day. And get communities connected. And I think the biggest thing when it comes to SMO, um, is this is, S with SMO, that's one thing SMO can do, that SEO cannot. And that is creating those communities. Yes, you have a broad scale of people who use Google, and some who use, you know, Yahoo and others who use, what's Bling? Does anybody even use Ask.com anymore? I don't know. I'm going to look that up in a minute. But, yeah, you have all these broad scale of people who use Google and Yahoo. Um, but you have more, I can say, who are on Facebook, who are on Twitter and everything. And who, who um, connect with those symbols and contents that they you know, see a Facebook and, and Twitter. Like, if I see a, a Facebook like button, of course I'm going to click it if I like it. Because that's just that's just the times now. So, um, Facebook, Twitter, um, Dick, all those um, social media tools, even a lot of blogs, um, are better at, with the, are better when it comes to optimization. Um, because they are able to create those niche communities so um that's all i think i have i'm tired of rambling no it's kind of late um but yeah i just had to get this out and stuff love you mark okay i will see y'all later peace